Hey, this is Ray Van, coming to you live from the world famous Comedy Store in 2018 for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Get up for Tony X Clan! Fuck yeah! Welcome everyone! Hello! Look at this packed main room! Make some fucking noise! Fuck yeah! We are here at the number one live podcast in the world. There's Josh Martin right there. This is Brian Redband, everybody, on hey the guys, ones what's and up? twos. House artist Ryan J. E. Belt is here drawing tonight's episode while you all sit there lazy. He's actually making history. The new uh, Kill Tony, the book, is my new favorite thing that sits around my house. And, and it's uh, shipping now. He, yep. It's finally shipping out. RyanJEBelt.com to get the new book. Now, we would like to make a huge announcement. Do you guys like huge announcements? I know I do. February 1st, Kill Tony live in Houston, Texas. That's our third time going to Houston in a year. Ooh, another announcement. Double breaking news. Friday, February 2nd, Kill Tony live in Dallas, Texas. Yeehaw! Every show we've ever done in Texas is sold out, so this one will be no different. Get your tickets uh, immediately. And we're uh, doing comedy shows also. We're, uh, we're doing Kill Tony and comedy shows. Yep, stand-up shows the rest of the weekend. Me, Red Band the band. So that'll be a lot of fun. Get to see us all live doing Kill Tonys and uh, stand-up comedy. Did I forget the, uh, I forgot the fucking thing back there. Yeah, I forgot the hair cutter. Hey, can somebody give me the, uh, the hair trimmers? Yeah, I'll go grab it for you. Why, um, why do you want to get hair cutters, Tony? For those of you that don't know, this uh, entire month of December, one of my funniest friends and I, the great and powerful Jeremiah Watkins, have been trying to put on as much weight as... How many of you know about the weight gain challenge for the month of uh, December? A lot of people know about it. And uh, what you might not know is that here tonight, this could be used, this hair trimmer, on uh, the Golden Goose, Jeremiah Watkins' hair. If he... If I gained more weight than him, then we cut Jeremiah Watkins' hair here tonight. Jeremiah, where are you? You guys want to bring out Jeremiah Watkins? Make some yeah. noise for the great Jeremiah Watkins, everybody. Woohoo! Where's he at? The anticipation's killing me. You would think we had all day to prepare for this. Oh, look at that fatty. Wow. Oh, he's bringing the entire band with him. Who would have who guessed that he wouldn't be man enough to come out here on his own? <laughs> who do I have? I have red band in my corner? It's okay. I'm bigger than both those guys. Hell yeah. Three guys. Jeremiah, how do you feel? You look sluggish. I feel terrible, Tony. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, we've taken two completely different approaches. If you haven't been following along on Instagram, I have been trying to uh, work out and gain ma muscle mass with, under the tutelage of my coach, uh, Joe Rogan. And Jeremiah has taken the approach. Boo! Yeah. Yeah, everybody hates <laughs> Joe Rogan. Boo, <laughs> Joe Rogan! <laughs> and Jeremiah has taken the approach of... Uh, Pre-diabetes, right? Yeah, of Colonel Sanders and decided to... Down what kids? What kids? What kids? What? All right. So, uh... All right, and uh, to close this out in front of all you guys, oh, and, it, and also, if Jeremiah gained more weight than me, if he did, uh, then he gets to be the host of Kill Tony next week, and I will be joining the band. If he gained more weight than me. Now, we weighed in on December 1st, and uh, I guess we're going to weigh out right now, and... Um, I tried to get my uh, friend and good friend of the Kill Tony show uh, from episode 100, uh, the voice of the UFC, Bruce Buffer. I wanted to get him here to announce our official uh, weighing out weights. However, he could not make it due to family New Year's Day obligations. But Bruce Buffer decided to send in a little recording. So we're just going to go along with the recording from the great Bruce Buffer. And uh, I guess it goes a little something like this. Right? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to the official weigh-in for Weight Gain December! Yeah! Brought to you by Bill yeah! Tony, Death Squad, Golden Pony Productions, and Squirt, a refreshing beverage since 1963. And now... It's time! Way in first. He's the host 
of Kill Tony and is one of the top young rising comedians in the world. He stands five feet nine inches tall with a December first weight of 138 and one half pounds. From Youngstown, Ohio, via Los Angeles, California, he is the reigning, defending, undisputed flyweight comedy champion of the world, Tony the Golden Pony, Hitchcliffe! All right, here's the official weigh-in for Tony Hinchcliffe. He weighs 142 pounds. What? It, what is? Wait, what did he start off at, Jeremiah? What did you start off at? 138.5. 138.5. By my math, that is uh, three and a half pounds. <laughs> uh, of pure motherfucking and his muscle. Opponent. In the band corner, he is a member of the Wave, the Comedy Jam, the Kill Tony Band. He stands six feet three inches tall, originally weighed in at 166.4 pounds. From Overland Park, Kansas, he is the Careless Whisperer. The Pig Man! Meg Ryan, if she was missing a chromosome, he is Jeremiah! The Golden Goose! What can? All right. Jeremiah. Carrying at least two pounds of moles on his back. <laughs> we can... <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ, what is that? All right, here we go. Jeremiah is going to get on the scale. Did he, who, who here thinks he may have gained more than uh, two and a half pounds? Everybody in the world! <laughs> it was 166 when he weighed in December 1st in real life. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> what is it? 196! 196! Oh my god. It's not on. Wait, did you really say 196? You gained 30 fucking pounds? 30 fucking pounds a pound every single day of the month of December the same Joe Rogan that back Tony Hinchcliffe told me that I would die this month if I kept this up well guess what Joe Rogan I gained 30 pounds in a month and I'm still ticking there you go all right there we go Wow. And I still got all the perks of seeing what Jeremiah's face looked like if I got to cut his hair for a second there. That's uh, paying homage to our friends from Jackass, Rick Kozik and uh, Wee Man out there. I got a little inspired this uh, holiday week re-watching their movies, and I just improvised that in the moment, and the look on your fucking face when you thought that I took a piece of those golden locks out. Wow. Like I would possibly cut that fucking Lannister hair without the, uh... Jeremiah Watkins, ladies and gentlemen. 30 pounds. He will be hosting Kill Tony next week. I will be joining the band. I, th I think I might have a little something up my sleeve for that. That'll be fun. Tune in to Kill Jeremiah next week. Oh, yeah. Live at the Comedy Store. 30 pounds. 30 fucking That's pounds. That's fucking amazing. I didn't even know that was possible. It's fucking disgusting, is what it is. 
Unbelievable. Jeremiah's wife's in, uh, in the corner back there. Uh, I hope you're proud of your little fat boy. <laughs> you guys having fun so far? Should we start the show? How about that? That's not even the fucking show. God damn it, we haven't even started the show yet. Uh, so let's uh, bring out our guests, uh, two of my absolute favorites, they've both been guests on this show before, always shockingly hilarious, insanity always ensues, this week's no different. Put your hands together for Steve-O and Kirk Fox! Oh shit! There's Kirk Fox, and there's Steve-O, make some noise people! Fuck yeah. Uh, what do you guys think about Jeremiah Watkins gaining 30 pounds in a month? I not bad, not bad. Good, good start. <laughs> <laughs> just keep I just going. Wanted, I just want to know if he enjoyed it. Because if I, if I did that, I would love it. Man. He really I mean, did. I really, I can, just Reese's and... I can tell you for a fact he did. He was not near the end though. He actually hates it now, right now. He he can't wait to eat healthy now. I mean, he went to the doctors and actually they said you're pre-diabetic right now. Like, your cholesterol and everything is so high right now. We're the all pre-diabetic. He probably yeah. had a bet with someone else that he could get diabetes. <laughs> he might be hosting somebody else's podcast Dude, too. The doctor told me I'm pre-diabetic. Really? Uh, yeah, he said I'm skinny fat. He said that uh, my it's like a real thing. Like I've got uh, fat all over my organs, and uh, like he says, keep it up, in five years you'll have diabetes. Wow. So I'm keep like, it up, oh, man. Just fucking, <laughs> just fucking stay strong. Trust yourself, Steve-O. <laughs> <laughs> fucking yeah. good to complete something. That's right. <laughs> well, I'm excited about tonight's show. You guys have both been guests uh, before. Everything's uh, right down the middle. We're going to have another fun episode here tonight. And uh, this is the part of the show where I bring out the band that's going to be joining us tonight. Every single week they uh, commit to characters. It's always different. I never know what they're going to do. They are the best damn band in the land. Put your hands together for the Kill Tony Band. Pat Reagan, Jeremiah Watkins, Joelberg Joel Jimenez, and Chroma Chris. Wow, what is this going to be? A little Enya? Oh, oh wait a no. second. We've never seen this group before. Oh, God. Yoga guys. Yoga <laughs> instructors? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh. Wow. All right. Oh, that's a downward dog. And it, that's a downward-facing pig. <laughs> 30 pounds, you fucking pig. That's you disgusting monster. Oh, look at that. Look at those flaps. <laughs> wow, okay, they're doing... Wow. The old... All right, no, there's... That's missionary. Clearly, this is uh, Jeremiah and uh, the corpse we of don't Amy have to Winehouse. We don't have to tip, right? We don't have to give him a couple bucks? No, definitely not. Oh, my God, Jeremiah, look at the way you're built. <laughs> you are completely back to that shitty shape you were in. What what was the go-to pound fucking packer? Uh, Butterfingers. You were putting Butterfingers on a lot. Tamales, Butterfingers, uh, a lot of ice cream right before sleep. A lot of ice cream right <laughs> before sleep. <laughs> I melted ice cream and I drank it for breakfast a few days in a row. And don't forget about your f official sponsor. Now, will, oh, you keep I got that, official... will you keep that on? Or are you going to try and lose No, it? I can't wait to get healthy. I feel terrible. <laughs> what are you going to do to get healthy? <laughs> yoga. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are yoga instructors. Uh, we are yogi, yes. <laughs> wow. It's so cool when like Robert De Niro does it, like Christian Bale, like for like major acting roles. Like, did you have any real reason? Kevin Nealon asked me. He's like, "Oh, so are you gaining weight for a movie?" I'm like, "Well, yeah, I haven't booked it yet, but yeah." <laughs> 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 you look happier. You look happier. <laughs> Shout out also to uh, L.A. Speedweed uh, oh, yeah. here on uh, how about make some noise for the first day of legalized marijuana in the state Fuck of yeah. California. Why not? A little yeah. shout out to that. 
And shout out to Kill Tony. Look at this room. It's fucking packed. Hell yeah. Shout out to yeah. us. First episode of 2018, which we're also in six months going to be celebrating our five-year anniversary of this show. Doing it for five fucking years. That's what that Little long. For. Little long. You know, Jay, you said 2018, and I decided this is the year when I start saying 20, 2018. Ah, oh, 2018. Yeah. Yeah, it only took, what, 18 years. <laughs> well, 20 Does it yep. sound better? Does it well, sound yeah, better when you say it? Is it quicker? Quicker? Yeah, it's quicker. <laughs> yeah. That's, I, a, that's the thing, man. It just occurred to me. Like, fuck. We'll do it. Surprise you got through those other years saying them wrong. <laughs> So everything's in position. We have the band, the guests, everything's ready to rock. Uh, so let's just do it. A bunch of uh, human beings signed up earlier, put their names on little pieces of paper on the patio out front between 6 and 7.30 for the opportunity to get pulled out of it and perform 60 seconds on this stage. Sometimes it's a brand new amazing comedian. Sometimes it's uh, an insane person. Um, how many of you out there are fans of the show? How do you guys? Oh, OK. You guys know how it works. If it's your first time signing up, you get 60 seconds if you're pulled out of the bucket. You know the 60 seconds is up and you hear the sound of a kitten. That means wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. He's coming in a car this week. All right. He drove here. All right. Very good. You guys ready to start the show or what? Let's do this. It's Kill Tony. Live from the comedy store. Main room. Steve, why don't you scoot in this way a little bit and create oh, yeah, this yeah, yeah. so these people can get through. Bunch that angry bear sounds like uh, Jeremiah's stomach, probably. <laughs> Just hungry, growling. Jeremiah, what is that you have wrapped around your head? It's his hair. A head wrap. <laughs> All right, I pulled a name out of the bucket. You guys ready to start this fucking show or what? Here we go. Your first person performing 60 seconds tonight goes by the name of Jason Rodriguez. <laughs> An uninterrupted 60 seconds coming from Jason Rodriguez, who's coming from the farthest corner. Here he comes. He's making his way up. Here we go. Put your hands together for Jason Rodriguez, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. Uh, I'm 25 years old, which is uh, too old to look like this. I like, uh, look like I'm worried about prom. <laughs> It feels like when people see me, it's just assume, like, oh, this guy, he collects fidget spinners, for sure. Yeah. Uh, I'm Mexican, and I work with a lot of Mexicans, and I don't know how to speak Spanish. And uh, they, don't, they don't like that. They're not into it. So, except for Miguel. Miguel's cool. He was like, hey, man, do you speak Spanish? I was like, no, I'm sorry. He's like, oh, you should learn, because Mexicans, uh, they're sneaky. Just, it was weird. It was a weird thing to say, yeah. Doesn't make sense with the other uh, stereotypes. Like, oh, look out for those Mexicans that mow your lawn when you least expect it. <laughs> you know. Walk into your bathroom in the morning, like, who remodeled this? When did this happen? <laughs> Should have heard something. All right, cool, good. Fuck yeah, Jason Rodriguez. <laughs> It's your first time on the show, right? Yeah, yeah, it You're is. 25, huh? 25, yeah. What do you do for work? I work at P.F. Chang's. Ah. Yeah. I guess. And, uh, a, lot of, a lot of Mexicans work lot of, at P.F. Chang's? It's all. In the, in the kitchen, yeah, it's all Mexicans. Never oh. been in there, but I, I can imagine it. Yeah. How long have you worked at P.F. Chang's? Uh, just a couple months. Interesting. And what do you do there exactly? I'm a dishwasher. Oh. Okay. Okie dokie. <laughs> Uh, yeah. When you hear that sound, you know what that means. All right. All right. I think you did fucking great, bro. Oh, and thanks, I think dude. You're a very attractive man. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thanks. Looks like James Franco without the confidence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Cool. I like you. You're very conversational. That that was, that was funny. You made me laugh inside. <laughs> but that's a start. I mean, if I can start there. Yeah. I think that the, the, the whole being Mexican and not speaking Spanish, man, I think there's a lot to get out of that. That's fucking funny. Yeah, yeah. Do you, do you really not speak Spanish and you're Mexican? Yeah. <laughs> yeah no, no, no. I, know, I know a couple words and that's it, yeah. You from L.A.? Uh, Long Beach. Yeah. Yeah. 
Hmm. Yeah, like, did yeah. you elaborate on how like people react to that? Like Mexicans reacting to that? Like, I think there's a lot of good tags you can put in there. Okay. Yeah. I, I relate like, to what, that. What do people say? Like, what do they when when the Mexicans get mad at you? Uh, mo mostly they're disappointed, and <laughs> and you. You, usually I just lie. It I don't. Hurts, I don't. Man. Disappointment hurts. Do you ever yeah. try to But sign? is there a reason you don't want to speak Spanish? Well, I just I didn't wasn't you raised. Don't want to get out of the kitchen. I think in 2018. <laughs> I think in 2018, you know, you make New Year's resolutions. Uh -huh. You should make learning Spanish your goal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's my Yogi Patty Reagan right there. <laughs> Yogi Patty Reagan. <laughs> Do you date outside your race? Uh, sh sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Like, sure. what other races have you dated? This is like white. That was the other one. How did that go? Did that go good for you? Not oh, really. Blanco. No, it was all right. It was all right. Yeah. Do you normally date? Um, Are you really Mexican? Yeah, I'm Mexican. Yeah, I am. Yeah. I just thought it'd be a great angle if you weren't. <laughs> what? Did you say I wasn't raised that Mexican? <laughs> I, I wasn't. No. What are the two words that you do know? Uh, poquito. That means little. And mas, because you work there. <laughs> what? What's yeah. the other word? Uh, like grande is one. Wow! That's, you learned that from Starbucks. I like the wow. fact yeah, that yeah. I know. Yeah. I like the fact that I know more Spanish than a Mexican. You, you do. Yeah, I'm sure. It's crazy. Yeah. You're already a, you're, you're built for a comedy future. You're already dressing like Larry David on a day off. <laughs> it's impressive, Jason. <laughs> Where do you uh, what do you do for fun? Like, what's something that you're into? You're a 25 year old from Long Beach. You got like a Tamagotchi or something like that? Uh, no, uh, I like I like going to movies. Like, I like seeing like indie flicks. Ah, and stuff. películas. Uh, yeah. I don't know. La cinema. Yeah, <laughs> I knew I knew that one. Yeah. Puto delgado. <laughs> what's your favorite movie that you've seen recently? El Mariachi. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I just saw Star Wars. I liked it. Yeah. Yeah, I liked it a lot. It was what cool. would you like about it? It was like different from like the other movies in some ways. You mean yeah. like it was really long, like very bendy? It was. It was too. Well, long. this one was true. <laughs> right? This was the true one. <laughs> yeah. El Jedi Final. Did you go see that by yourself? <laughs> I want my dad. Aww. Yeah. Isn't that Does adorable? he speak Spanish? Papa. No. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't either. No, he doesn't. No. No. That's kind of why, also, both my parents. So you guys came to America and just said, "Let's just fucking never speak Spanish." <laughs> I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Solo that English. way they won't know we're Spanish and they'll, we can stay here. How many yeah. generations of the family uh, live in America? Uh, three or four, I think. Uh, okay. Cuatro generaciones. How many live in your living room? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like none of your family speaks Spanish. This is good, man. This is a good angle. Thank, cool, thanks. Other than going to movies, what else do you do for fun or a hobby of yours or I, something like that? Like uh, anything besides forgetting your heritage. <laughs> <laughs> Coco! Uh, I, don't, no, I don't really do much really at all besides just comedy. Well, with that attitude, you're going to spend a lot of time at P.F. Chang's. Yeah, <laughs> probably will, yeah. Muy triste. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Love life good? You got a girlfriend right now or something? No, no. I no? Don't. How's that? What's no. going on with that? I just I don't have you one. You on any dating sites or anything like that? If you like speak that? Spanish, yeah. you would increase your odds of meeting a girl. <laughs> yeah, it's the language of love. <laughs> you can meet Americans and Spanish. Yeah. When was the last time you went on a date? Uh, it's a couple months, a couple months ago. Yeah? Where'd you yeah. meet her at? Uh, she, was, she was a comic. So. Oh. Yeah. How'd that go? Uh, it was okay. It was like we dated for a while. I see, I see. What happened? What, <laughs> what, what, why didn't it work? You feel? Uh, I don't. I think because we're just both. her attitude, just shit. No, she, no, 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 not at all. No, I don't know. We're just both. Comics. She was a little mopey, quiet. No. What? Did you uh, eat her panocha? Hey, <laughs> <Ay, ay, ay. laughs> I think you're funny, man. You're subtle. That'll work. Yep. Yeah, thanks. Yep. yep. It was nice to meet you, Jason. All right, there you cool. go. Jason Rodriguez. Much. Bye. 60 seconds from Jason Rodriguez's first time on the show. That's fun. Good job, man. Meeting a young buck from Long Beach. I've seen guys like that come up through the ranks. Matt Edgar and those fun types. Matt speaks Spanish. Yeah, Matt does speak more Spanish than him, and Matt is white as fuck. 
All right, this looks like another new name. Put your hands together for Josh Soma. Josh Soma. Not seeing any movement. Oh, this could be him. I believe this is Josh Soma approaching the stage. Here he comes. Holy shit. All right. <laughs> so uh, I like having sex with, sex with larger women. And it's, it's not because they're the only ones who will have sex with me. It's, it feels kind of like community service. Because <laughs> at first you're like, oh, shit, I don't want to do this. But then once you're doing it, it's, this whole thing's kind of bigger than me. You realize that. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> okay, I can tell that joke, because my girlfriend's not fat. Yet. <laughs> I'm working on it, definitely. <laughs> oh, and I forgot my last joke, I think. I had one more. I'm gonna... Tell the first one again. First one again? <laughs> so... <laughs> uh, oh, oh, now I got it. <laughs> so I, I love my girlfriend. Uh, I think we could get through a lot together, even if she went blind. I think I'd stay there with her. I'd really help her, and I would uh, probably learn sign language. Because it. <laughs> well, we gotta hear the end of. Something. You wanna finish it? Go ahead, Josh. Why, finish, finish that why joke. Why did you learn sign language if she went blind? Well, because it can't all be about her. It's got to Like I have to have my vent, because I'll be there to comfort her. But then at the same time, I could be telling like I want to fuck her sister, like and just be over it. But yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe we should have right. stopped with the cat. <laughs> Am I crazy right now or like out of it? But why would you learn sign language if she went blind? That doesn't make any sense because she's be blind. Because I need to vent. When, she, when I'm comforting her with my voice, I can be sign languaging whatever the uh, fuck I that's want. That's a real, that's more like a joke for like a cartoon or something yeah. like that. You literally have to like paint the <laughs> There's picture. There's a beginning. There's a beginning of a joke. You have to, you have to picture it. You have to okay. say, picture it, everybody. <laughs> You have to say, can you do that? Say that, Josh. Picture it, everybody. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Is, it, is that is fatophobe a word? Because you're really fatophobic, huh? Like, I, I like really having angry. sex with Lange Rubin. Sounded, yeah, but then you just kept, kept going after it. Like, like you're really angry at, at heavy people. Is this really know, true? Do you really I... like hooking up with larger women? Yeah, I enjoy it every time yeah. I've done it. <laughs> yeah. How uh, often have you done it? Less than ten times. <laughs> Less than 10 and times. How fat are we saying? Are we saying like just a little chubby or like, <laughs> like gordo? Like, like two, kind two of fat or, or Jeremiah fat? Uh, <laughs> what? Imagine me on top of you. Do you like it or not? Oh. <laughs> I'm always Do you like top. winners? <laughs> so your girlfriend's not fat though, so you're going no, against no. what you are attracted to. Well, I, I date her, so it's fine. I, she I deaf or she blind? <laughs> no, she's good. Okay. She's, for right now, she's good. How long have you been with her? Uh, two and a half years. Wow. What does she do? Uh, she is at school with me also. You're at school. What are you studying? I study finance and accounting. Finance and accounting. Yeah. What are you going to do with that? Uh, tax accounting and then come here as much as I can. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, how did your neck get so thick? What do you do to, uh, <laughs> what, what do you do to work out your neck exactly? Yeah, you have a fat neck. I've wrestled is that from for going down years. on fat girls? <laughs> Yeah, I try. <laughs> there's a lot of cholesterol. Uh. <laughs> that helps a lot, but I wrestled for 10 years. You wrestled for 10 years. Where at? Where are you from? Uh, I'm from With your so sexuality? <laughs> <laughs> right, Joel Berg is that one here, out. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I love the chance. You are very white, I will say oh, that. Oh, yeah. yeah. To, I, have, I had a white joke, but I was like, ah. What's your white joke? Let's hear it. I we're we're hear looking this. at it. We don't need the joke. <laughs> I, I know I look like the kind of guy that gets a, escorted politely to a police car. But <laughs> no, no. Okay, now it's a good, what's your it's a good joke. That's a good setup. Yeah. It's just an intro self-deprecating kind of thing. How long have you been doing stand-up? This is my first time ever. Wow! <laughs> there, you, there it is. He's powered up. I'm glad we were here to see it. Yeah, I'm glad to do it. I like you. I, I believe in you. Wait, like wait. if I need a white guy to do something stupid. Oh yeah, yeah. you're my guy. He's my hero. He's my. <laughs> I take offense to that, bro. <laughs> I look up to Steve. -O. Do you have a job? 
Uh, I do tax accounting right now, but right now I'm just coaching a high school. You coach coaching a whole school? fucking high school? In wrestling, An yeah. entire high school? Just <laughs> life coaching? <laughs> For wrestling. Here's how you have the thickest neck. All know. right, high school. I'm your coach. <laughs> All the fat girls to the left. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows sign language? <laughs> I'll take you to the championship. What are you coaching, Josh? Uh, I'm coaching wrestling. You're a wrestling coach. How long have you been doing Be that? Be careful with that. Uh, I did it like volunteer. <laughs> I volunteered for my high school when I was in did. high school for like the kids team. Mm -hmm. uh, I bet for, you like, did. Three years. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 21. 21, and and is it legal to do people's taxes before you graduate tax I, school? I'm just an intern right now. So I do taxes, but I don't like sign off. He doesn't on it. turn them I in. I can't sign the. I can't sign my name now. <laughs> so your dad made you wrestle when you were younger. That's the only real way to get into that, right? My dad made me play baseball, and I hated baseball. So they, then he's like, "You don't want to play baseball, then you're gonna wrestle." Blah, blah. My my brother bullied me into oh, yeah. it. <laughs> All right. Why did you hate baseball? I was not good enough for. It. I'm too clumsy. And right. how long have you been wrestling with your past? <laughs> 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 Every is day. your dad proud of you that you're doing stand up tonight for the first time? Uh, is he's, he here encouraging no, you? No, he doesn't really care. Fulfill <laughs> he's like, oh, just keep doing tax. What, is he, what does he do? Uh, he drives trucks. What so, kind of trucks? Uh, like semis. Like a truck driver. Yeah. So he's a truck driver. Sadly, yeah. <laughs> I don't wow. know, man. I think like, there's like some money laundering scheme going on over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so <laughs> if you can just get a high school in the back of this truck. <laughs> So, uh, you think your dad's really a truck driver? Is that just how he cheats on your mom? <laughs> uh, maybe back in the day, but not now. He's, uh, he's rough. Back in the day, but not now? Is that what you he think? looks like he's pregnant. Did we get a weight out of you out of what you think the biggest girl you've ever hooked up with was? Do you have uh, a guess? Over 200 pounds. Yeah, over how many semis pounds? have you drove? How long did it take for you to <laughs> pin her? To pin her? Yeah. Oh, it was quick. It was, quick don't pin. worry, it was quick. That's where the wrestling comes in. Oh, Where'd yeah, you meet her at? Huh? Where'd you meet her at? Uh, college at my... P.F. Chang's. <laughs> what do you remember most about, uh, like, what stood out to you about her weight? Like, was it, were the lights on when you guys had sex? Oh, no, I, the lights weren't on in here either. I was, I was pretty gone. <laughs> Have you turned them back on yet? Huh? Have you, but you've turned them on since, correct? I, Those sorry. lights on and inside Oh, yeah, head. yeah, yeah, I've done it. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Seems a little dark. I'm just seeing yeah. if. <laughs> how many maybe. times? How many times do you think you've gotten a concussion out there on the wrestling match? Oh, that's why I stopped wrestling. I got eight. Wow. Wait, what was the question? <laughs> eight. How, how many concussions? Oh, has I thought you, you said erections. Uh, no. <laughs> like how many erections have you gotten in your wrestling career? Good question. Eight. That's why I had to stop. Same, same, same I don't man. know what's going on the right last now. Last one. I pinned him and I fucked him at the same time. <laughs> But he's had his hand in his pocket this entire set. I don't know what's happening over Keeping there. Keeping the erection down. Every, everything, uh, everything you do, everything you do, you do less than ten times. You have sex with BBWs less than ten times. You, the second thing that you just said, you do that less than ten times, and you've done stand up less than ten times. Everything he does. I don't do much. <laughs> He does less than 10 times. How do you know you had a concussion? <laughs> like, 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 how do you know it's a, it's a concussion? Like, it counts. Uh, right. Well, I've been, I've been knocked out twice or three times, but then every other time I get a searing headache and I can't really think straight. And <laughs> Because I, I want to know how many concussions I've had. How many? You don't know? I, oh, yeah, I've had a I could have had more, too. <laughs> I've got some un undiagnosed ones, definitely. Did you have, ever have any crazy wrestling coaches? Oh, yeah. Do yeah. you still let your wrestling coach cut your hair? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. No one cuts my hair anymore. <laughs> I'm done awesome. in a while. I'd actually let you do my taxes. I think you're going to do just fine in life. <laughs> yeah, only eight concussions. I trust yeah. you with everything. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. All right, Josh. Well, uh, did you have fun? Is this something you've always wanted to do? Stand-up comedy? How does it feel? It's good. I've wanted to do it for a couple of years. Yeah. You've wanted to do it for a couple of years. Yeah. But it took you two years to what? It took me about two years to get the courage <laughs> to, to and just, the time. And then it was done. You didn't have time soon. to get wrestling, up here and do and 60 and seconds? You no. did, <laughs> in two years, you couldn't find right the 60 seconds. I like your style. Since, <laughs> since you wrestle and like bigger women, how many uh, triple H-sized boobs have you seen? 
Uh, sadly, H. none. I, I knew it was going to bomb. It's really it anyway. <laughs> smarter j- than it was funny, but it was still good. Oh, job. I'm smart. Thank you. <laughs> as, someone, as someone who does taxes, whenever you have sex with a large woman and you come early, do you ever say, oh, that was W too soon? <laughs> You should open with that next time. <laughs> All right. So what's the answer? Uh, oh, I usually don't that? with them. <laughs> have you ever have you ever hooked up with any girls that are a uh, ten forty easy? <laughs> the larger women usually get a lot on your return for that. All right, <laughs> stupid. Josh, anything else you want to say? This is it. You're in front of your hero, Steve-O. You're in front of Kirk Fox. I mean, I'll be back. <laughs> I don't know. I'll be back around. All right, little Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, for you. <laughs> I've always wondered what it would be like if Arnold Schwarzenegger said that without his accent. Just very normally and boringly. Just, I'll be back. I'll be back. Maybe my first time, but it is not my last. I will be back. I am on my way. He's got the neck for it. <laughs> Thickest neck in comedy on his first day. Josh Soma, ladies and gentlemen, popping his cherry here today. All right. Back to the bucket we go. You guys having fun out there, huh? All right. Put your hands together for Kyle Anderson. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? I was uh, I was unemployed recently. I had to sell my blood plasma to get by. And you know, when you're that level of poor, you're like, maybe I get rid of this blood I'm not using. <laughs> Some of you guys judging me? That's fine. It's the first of the month. Rent's due. I got 85 bucks burning a hole in my veins. start to think about money in a whole different way. You're like, all right, my car insurance, that's three pints. <laughs> Want to take out the girlfriend, that's a pint, pint and a half easy. This guy gets it, this guy gets it. <laughs> you guys can laugh, judge me, that's fine. Joke's on you, I'm a gallon away from a trip to Europe. <laughs> I'm going to see the sights. I'm going to be woozy, but I'll be there. <laughs> Fading in and out of Paris. <laughs> <laughs> blood bank though it's not fair it's not equal you know ladies they're letting you you know you're bleeding every month for free I'm running a small business out of my left arm <laughs> I'll end on that thank you Kyle Anderson oh uh, yeah hello welcome <laughs> nice to meet you Kyle this is your first time on the show right yeah yeah man how's it going uh, great man long time listener this is awesome thank you Fuck yeah. you guys ever uh, sell plasma when you're younger college or anything. I used to do it all the time. No, I, no, I, no, I think that's just a, a thing that uh, guys that are shaped like you and Kyle Anderson. <laughs> hey, man. We got a lot of extra plasma. <laughs> if you, guys, you guys literally look like twin brothers or something. Like, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, the look on your face. To be fair, they turn away guys Tony's size. They don't. Uh, Wait, what? What the hell did you just say? You they do. Them? Yeah, that's right. They won't let the you. Step you up. Say? I'm sorry. I had the government test drugs on me for money. There's a lot more money in that. Yeah. Yeah, I got like two grand in, in uh, a couple of weeks. What was the drug? It was called rack dopamine hydrochloride. Oh. And it's, it didn't make it. It's not legal. <laughs> and they, they were trying to make it legal so they could give it to pigs and cows. It would, it would make the pigs and cows have more muscle and less fat. Then why did you take it for it? Well, because if something's going to enter the human body, they have to like determine how much the human body can withstand that shit. <laughs> so, so, yeah. This and did you sign up for that, or did they come yeah, yeah. looking the more, for you? The more, <laughs> the more dangerous the study, the more money there is. So you want to go big. Are you, you know? strapped for cash? I had no idea. Well, no, this was in 19... It was January 1994. Oh, okay. Kyle, what's, yeah, the craziest thing, uh, what's the craziest thing you ever put in your body? Oh, man. You uh, look like you eat uh, turkey legs daily. <laughs> uh, like those big, like... Like that one. I, uh... 
Did you Brandon ask what the craziest thing he put in his body? Yeah. I, and is it still in there? Is that the I did. <laughs> I did. Uh, I did at a party. I got really drunk. Uh, like ate the worm from the tequila bottle uh -huh. while that, it was still alive. I don't think that that's that big of a deal. Really. Is that yeah. that big of a, a deal? Question. How many times has your car been flipped over by brontosaurus ribs? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, uh, it's a Fred Flintstone joke. I don't know. Wow. Oh, very topical. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Tony. Yeah, 65 million years ago. Tony, right. I, got a, I got a question for Kyle. Yeah. Uh, Kyle, did you feel like pressure coming up here? Like high blood pressure? <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought you did a really good job, man. I, I liked uh, the whole bit. The beginning confused me, though. You said, like, uh, I've sell my blood, pla I'm going to sell my plasma. And then you said, so I'm thinking, okay, you sell the plasma, but then you're talking about the blood. Do you sell both? Like, uh, yeah, yeah, I guess I could clarify. So they, they I don't know. Some Diversifying multiple streams of income. And, oh, there you yeah, go. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. How old are you? Uh, 23. Wow, 23. What do you do uh, for work? Uh, I'm a video editor. I just moved here last month. From where? Vegas. That's where I came up. Wow. I know Ichabod. Vegas. Were you born at an all-day, all-you-can-eat buffet? <laughs> Were you born at the MGM Grand? <laughs> I got out yesterday. Grande? I just got out. MGM Grande would have How long have you been doing stand up? Uh, almost uh, six years. Oh, oh awesome. Man. Yeah, it's fine. Um, well, then you better be funny. That's have good. you actually given blood? Huh? Have you, do you actually give blood? Uh, I did before I got a sweet video editor job in LA, but yeah, no, I, I used to have yeah, to give blood all the time. What do you edit? Uh, I edit for a YouTube channel. It's like a tech channel, so it's not really comedy, but. I'm trying to get to edit some for, you know, funny stuff, but... You edit for a YouTube channel? Yeah, yeah. Sweet-ass fucking job, A sweet-ass fucking job, brother. Is you that know how you're able up. to afford dress pants that look like sweatpants? <laughs> you know, they're... It's because I keep ripping them, so these are stretchy. Wow. <laughs> You rip them a lot, huh? Yeah, I was I was going through. There was a period of the summer where I would just keep getting in my car and just another pair of shorts just right wow, well, done. It probably would have been cheaper to get a higher car. <laughs> <laughs> At a certain point, there's a if you made a graph, you could pinpoint. What where kind that, of car? I don't do have you time have? for that graph, but I like <laughs> I like the suggestion. Oh, what kind of car do you have, Kyle? Uh, I have a, uh, a 2004 Jaguar. A Jaguar. Yeah. A, a Jaguar. Uh huh. <laughs> so that's. Is that it's, a bigger one model or a smaller one? Uh, it's an XJ. It's like a grandma car, like a filthy rich grandma might drive it and like Why'd you get be racist. Car? Because his filthy rich grandma <laughs> died and left it to him. No, no, I just I had I had like a like I had like four thousand dollars to spend. If you buy a super like old nice car, it's like the same price as like a super old humble Toyota. Humble brag, humble brag. Okay. So I don't know. I just drive a more comfortable couch, I guess. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> Thanks. I was, yeah. <laughs> so you've lived here for what, a month? Yeah, about a month. What part of town do you live in? Uh, North Hollywood. North Hollywood. Yeah. And what do you do dream. for fun? What have, you, have you found anything cool to do in L.A.? Anything that you, uh, like hobbies or anything like that? You collect any, uh, you know, like bells or anything? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, uh, when I was in Vegas, I, I, uh, I would, like, film for pro wrestling. Uh -huh. uh, like indie pro wrestling shows, mm. and uh, like. Did you ever think about getting into wrestling? Oh, uh, <laughs> I mean, you sort of are a squared circle. Yeah. <laughs> Can we see how thick your neck is? Yeah. <laughs> you got how, how long have you been the captain of the 1950s football team? Man. <laughs> so how long? <laughs> Got held back last year, so about three years. Um, how about that? Anything else that you do for fun or have done for fun since being here in LA? Anything cool that you've seen or anything stand out to you different than Vegas? Uh, definitely, like uh, driving here is just like totally like everybody says it, but like you, you actually get here, it's just fucking terrible. Like it's. Like Vegas, there's just a bunch of lanes and places for now, fucking you, people to park. Here's a question: Do you feel that you are a little overweight? A little. I'm just. 
And are you working on that? I mean, do you Honest exercise? Question. Honest Why question. Are you telling Kirk? No, I'm just asking. I mean, this is what he does for fun. He's a big time listener of Kill Tony. He wanted to yeah, I mean, I don't know. Literally, 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 literally a big time listener. But what I'm saying listener. is, are you working there on the trying, big, to, trying to lose a little weight? There, there is uh, sometimes. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, I've just been, like, I've consistently just treated my body like shit and stayed, like, this same shape for, think like, that's five or you six think years. Now, I mean, it's bad because he was, like, going to the doctor, and I, like, eat, like, all the time, like, all the shit that he <laughs> Ice cream at night? <laughs> right before bed, baby. <laughs> what's, your we what's your weapon of choice? Like, what's really, like, your guiltiest Ooh. pleasure? Uh, Reese's Puffs. Oh. Reese's uh, Puffs. Yeah, let's candy. Uh, let's candy for breakfast. What, what, else, oh, what, else, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Reese's cereal. What else? I, what else, I what wasn't else, being else, negative. I was just saying. No, I know, like it. This is very tri compelling. Trim it, trim no, it down he a likes for this. health reasons because you're funny, and you know if you don't. Make yeah, a change, I'm at a bet. Like I feel like I need to either like get like way fatter or no, 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 kind of no. trim it back. Yeah, yeah, I do. I have a fiance. Did she moved out here with you a month ago? Yes, she did. Get back to the foods you like. Get back to the foods you like. <laughs> <laughs> so you decided to go the, the other way? You said you want to get just big? I mean, that's the other option. I mean, I don't... What like is your girlfriend I would go do? the other way. Uh, she works at the Wax Museum on uh, Hollywood Boulevard. Is she, a, is she wax or a real person? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is she a model? <laughs> you ever... Uh, you, I mean, you, I only talk yeah. to her at work. <laughs> you ever talk? You ever wax that ass? <laughs> How long has she been doing that? Uh, she was doing it for about uh, six months at the one on on the strip, and what then she, she transferred. Uh, she like uh, takes tickets and stuff, huh. and uh, she gets collects dust. <laughs> Does she hate the heat? <laughs> what do people say she looks like? <laughs> That's a good question. I she like looks that. just like Demi Moore. <laughs> who do people say your girlfriend looks like? If you had to describe her using a celebrity, who would it be? Uh, and, uh, and does she love John Candy? I'd give it like uh, I'd give it like a Tina Belcher and no. Nice. So, wait, Tina Belcher. Yeah, yeah. And from Bob's like Burgers. Wild's Burgers, like she has kind of thick glasses, Ooh, and, like, dark she hair. She chose a cartoon character as the description of your girlfriend. I like that. Oh, my girl, she's like uh, Lisa Simpson. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, cherry pie. <laughs> Jesus, Jeremiah, what is going on? Wax off. <laughs> Is uh, is your girl heavy? No, no, she's 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 smaller actually. Really? Does she ever tell yeah. you like you're hurting me? <laughs> <laughs> no, she just stops breathing and then I'm like, okay. Do you have like sleep apnea? Do you ever wake up like and you stop breathing and stuff like that in the middle of the night yet? Or is oh, that is, is that what that is? No, I no, I uh, my dad does though, so I'm just all those checks are in the mail for me. I'm Your just dad's waiting. Your a bigger a guy. More. Oh yeah, well he's slimmed down now, but yeah, he's a bigger dude. And he's a truck driver. No, <laughs> he's a chef at the Bellagio actually. Wow, oh, I know him. Yeah, Good yeah. Guy. At the Bellagio. Do you know yeah. if you're pre-diabetic? Oh, I'm sure, but it's like if I don't know, then I'm good. Imagine being fat. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. That's a good Heck way yeah, to live. <laughs> Can you imagine yeah. being fat and skinny fat? <laughs> I'm like skinny fat and then fat on top of the skinny fat, so it's insulated. Right. Yeah. Now, when you wake up every day, concept. are you surprised? When I wake up every morning? <laughs> surprised and relieved. Surprised <laughs> that there's more Reese Puffs in the cupboard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I think you're funny and I like you and I, I just want you to get healthier. That's all yeah. I have to say. Well, thank you, Kirk. I'm, yeah, you did great, man. I'm going to thank you about that, Kirk. Yeah. Thank you. How do you think you would start? If you had to start getting healthy, what's the first thing you would do tomorrow? <sighs> Fucking, uh... Salad. Man, that's bad Just a that salad. I can't. Just start off with a salad. Do you, uh, in your comedy, do you have jokes about being fat? Yeah, yeah, no, totally. What's, what's I your best fat joke? Uh, I, uh, that I look, like a, I look like a chubby kid that got kidnapped in the 90s. <laughs> like the age-progressed picture. 
<laughs> I'm a chubby there kid that got kidnapped in the 90s. Zach Garrett. Yeah, and it's... I've seen crime shows, I know. That's there funny, I look like a guy who would kidnap a kid in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's Kyle Anderson, ladies and gentlemen. He's on Twitter at Danger Anderson. Just saw him here. All right, back to the bucket we go. All right, put your hands together for Sam Buck. <laughs> Sam Buck. Here he comes. Make some noise for Sam Buck, ladies and gentlemen. I was driving home the other day and I passed by a house that had an official city sign that said deaf child on it outside of it. That's fucked up for that kid. Not only can he not hear anything like my amazing comedy, but every time he looks out the window, he sees a sign announcing to the world his disability. That doesn't happen with other disabilities like blind children maybe, but what terrible parent would tell their blind kid there's that sign out there? Unless maybe they ran into it. But what if everyone had to have their main problem on a sign in their main house? I mean, I'd go to my ex-girlfriend's house for the first time and there'd be a big sign that just said, huge whore on it. Thank you. There you go, Sam Buck. Clocking out at 53 seconds. Hi, I Sam. knew the how's bar couldn't stay that high. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, how's it going? Good. How's it going with you? Good. Have you been on this show before? Yeah, two years ago was my first time performing stand-up. How, how's it been going the last two years? It uh, looks like it's been a little bit rugged on you. Yeah, it has. This yeah. is my fourth time performing stand-up. Fourth time, so you've yeah. averaged two spots a year for two the past two year. years. Exactly. So you're diving in hard. Diving right. in really hard. Clearly I've you're spending a lot of time, uh, extra time in the laboratory lately, uh, combining Working chemicals. Hard. Do you have a mad plot? Lots of meth. What do you do? Uh, I have three jobs. I make sandwiches. I teach Where do you make sandwiches at? On, in, on Cape Cod. I work at a... All the way in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Yeah. I gotta Very tell you, impressive. they have sandwiches here if you want to do it closer. I live on Cape Cod. Okay. And then you do. I, uh, yeah, I am a production assistant for Harvard making movies. And, wow. And um, I teach little kids archery. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you you show me how many kids die arrow, a year huh? in Cape That's Cod from I archery? I love how four people at once just have to attack. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> oh. Three of them not wanting to back down. <laughs> oh, archery, huh? <laughs> Fuck yeah. That's funny because you look like you work at Target. <laughs> 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 Wow, How, uh, what's the youngest uh, age that you've taught someone uh, archery? I do uh, second to fourth grade. Fuck yeah, just I like, bet you do. Just like Jerry Sandusky, <laughs> I like it. You know what you like. Second to fourth grade, anything older than that, they can go fucking jerk off, man. <laughs> yeah. They can get a gun once they I don't work at Subway, that's not the same. And you always thing. stand behind the kids and you pull their little <laughs> hand back with them, now like this, and you got the pelvis right against each other, right? Oh, How do you know my mood? You get down on your knees for that? Fuck. They're little fucking kids. I'm asking the tough questions here. Oh God. I want some details. You're a tall guy. You clearly can't stand and help a second grader, right? So you get down on your knees sometimes? <laughs> no, I crouch. I crouch. How, show us how you crouch for a second grader. Like, like this. That, that's the largest second grader I've ever seen. <laughs> I want you to actually crouch how you would for a fucking second grader. It's not that hard of a question. I don't care. Right right the kids are bigger. Like, for sure. I show them how to do it, and then they imitate me. All right. So how do you do it? Jeff Foxworthy <laughs> presents. Are you? Can you crouch like a second grader? We have a bunch of kids in Cape Cod imitating this guy. <laughs> but yeah. How do you how do you shoot a bow and arrow? Can you show me? Here, Jeremiah is the second grader. Like that, like that. Wow. Show Jeremiah how to do it. How would you show him? All right. You just rest your balls on his shoulder. Completely straight. Oh, completely straight? I think not, my friend. I mean, I do have them take their shirts off, so it is accurate. All right, Sam. Wow. I'm going to lose my license. 
<laughs> you have a I'm license for you that? Have a license. <laughs> I do. Wow. I have a license. I yeah. just gave you a permit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Show him how. How would you teach this kid how to do it? All right. Not for so the funny business. Be serious, Sam. You keep your shoulders apart like you're almost swinging a baseball bat, and you keep your left arm straight, <laughs> uh -huh. and you bring your right arm back, shoulder straight, elbow out, yeah. feet pulling forward, and you let go. Don't be scared of the string slapping Don't be your scared arm. of the <laughs> pressure that you feel against your right <laughs> elbow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There you go. Jeremiah, that feels straight to you? <laughs> You do look a little bit like Jared. Oh, I don't. I get Will Ferrell. I've never gotten Jared. H yeah. How old are you? I mean, you fascinate me. I'm 23. Just, you're 23? Yeah. I'm just processing all this. I'll, I'll talk about it in a minute, but keep going. All right. 23, huh? Yeah. And what, so you're, did production you go to Harvard? assistant for Harvard? I did not go to Harvard, no. So they're just hiring anybody they, over there. Yeah, exactly. And what, hey, what's Harvard producing? They do like master classes for their child business. molesters, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> master classes for their what? They do like movies for their business school where teachers like have interactive movies and I produce and do color correcting for those. Huh. What's your favorite kind of sandwich to make at the uh, sandwich place? Uh, and what's your favorite color that you correct it into? <laughs> yeah, choose wisely. Red and uh, I like an Italian. I love making an Italian sandwich. I bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> you like them Italian. All right. Anything okay. with the torpedo. <laughs> hmm. What's the weirdest thing about you, Sam? We all know that you have some skeletons in your closet. <laughs> Most of them obviously uh, second graders. Very little ones. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is the weirdest thing about you? The weirdest thing about yeah, like me? what's something creepy that you do, like or something like that. You have like a jar of toenails or something like that. Or Nothing creepy. Come on, um, tell the truth. Don't be afraid to lose your <laughs> bow license. <laughs> I mean, I also mm. want to know why every every year you you go you do stand up twice, right? right? Yeah. Well, At what point in the year do you just say, "All right, I'm ready for that next one." I got well, my material together. I've built enough sandwiches. I'm going out to L.A. <laughs> it's was, like a New Year's resolution. You, know? you never keep up with it. <laughs> yeah. Shit. January 1st. It's your day. Now exactly. Your day. That's what I was thinking. So you're getting it out of the way early this year. So yeah, you can gonna, focus on I'm the I'm going to go back to Boston and hopefully do it more. Fuck. Yeah, I did improv. Um, you scare the fuck out of me. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't. No, I don't apologize. You. I just. Do you want me to like move away or something? No, I, I could shoot you. <laughs> Where do you stay while you're in with town boat. visiting? Like, what's the thing? You get a hotel, or you have a friend out here? Or something yeah, like that? I'll tell ground. you where he stays. <laughs> Two hundred feet away from any school <laughs> in the area. <laughs> and do you travel with a bow and arrow? No, I do not. I actually don't do archery that much, other than just teaching the kids. Yeah, why? Yeah. You don't need to. Yeah, exactly. Of course. <laughs> Why would you do such a thing? Yeah, Why well, would you ever practice the craft when you're not in front of small children? <laughs> and do you advertise? I mean, is there like a Craigslist or a Robin Hood no. Gazette? I uh, get hired through camps on Cape Cod to uh, teach archery for wow, you. Good yeah. angle, man. You fucking... <laughs> I got in there, yeah. What's your love life like, Sam? Uh, I just got out of a relationship, Ooh. like most comedians. Yeah? Uh, well, how'd that end? Why'd that end? How uh, long were you with her? Graduated to third grade. Summer. <laughs> <laughs> Summer camp was over. Uh, we dated for like two years and I broke up with her. Oh yeah, why'd you break up with her? I don't, just not having a good time anymore. Not was it the her aspect? <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't, no. But yeah, I just wasn't... Why? What do you think changed? What you notice? Like, what's the difference two years into this thing? Cried a lot. She cried I a lot? I hope she doesn't listen to this. Oh, she newborn. Like, she, she got her period. Me. Did you really make weird. her cry or did no, she I just didn't. cry because she, she was teething? surprised she was with you? She does. <laughs> <laughs> she moved to Scotland for a year and it just like drifted apart and then she got back and it was just... Yeah. She moved to Scotland for a year. Yeah, that and When she came it. back she just f treated you differently. <laughs> no, she was just like overbearing. In what way? Like, what's something that she once said to you that really stood out? No. Uh, 
red, well, man. Well, after, after I broke up with her, uh, like a couple weeks passed, and we had had sex the morning I had broken up with her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. Yeah, I, I didn't... Check, don't, yes. don't apologize to us. You should apologize to her. She texted me, you broke my heart with your cum dripping out of me. Wow. Wow. She sounds like a, har like a Harvard writer. She sounds like yeah. a, li a lit major yeah. from with Harvard. With your cum dripping out of her. Cum does not hold together You came a broken inside heart. of her while leaving outside of her? That's incredible. <laughs> Blew a load inside of her. It was like you tried to it shoot was, an it apple was a off her hours heart. Before it was Just like it was a couple hours before. Just the answer to your question about his weird uh, behavior. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Take this load, you fucking bitch. <laughs> yeah. You feel that dripping out of you? That's the last you'll ever know of me. <laughs> it's a, it's a cream I'm going, pie. Where do you live? On? Cream pie. <laughs> now, uh, where do you live? You live in Cape Cod. Yeah. A cream pie! <laughs> you broke my heart. And my thighs all wet. I have your fucking nerdges flowing out of me. I bet you shoot like a massive loads too. You seem like the kind of guy that just he has like crazy back, fucking... He pulls it back. Yeah. Right. Crazy fucking gotta, nerd balls on you. Uh... Just stretch it, pull it hard, a little further, right? now let go. He's shaking his head, medium, yes. Medium. Dude, medium, uh, whatever. Medium. This Tell guy me. hits the fucking ceiling. And you live, in a, you live in a tent, right? I, Cape don't, Cod? I don't. No, I don't live in a tent. Did, did you don't live in a tent? After you came inside her, did you write her a note that said, do you think we should get a plan B pill? Check yes or no. <laughs> She Wait, I got a question. I, I didn't. I pulled out. I pulled out. I don't know why she texted me. You that. pulled out of the I relationship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after a... Uh, why would she say your cum was inside I of her? Don't, I don't know. That's why I'm glad that I'm this out of the relationship. Crazy, yeah. No. Tony, yeah. fucking, she blew it. I can't believe <laughs> He blew it. Sometimes after you leave a winner. I mean, she, you will be the one she regrets leaving. A after, That's for sure. After sex, did, uh, did she ever tell you to make her a sandwich? <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, Thank fuck, you. man. All right, Sam. Well, that's crazy that she would say that you, she has your cum Sam, is your last delivery. name Witch? <laughs> <laughs> Sam Witch. <laughs> no, his name's Sam. Now, is Buck? Buck. Buck yeah. Is that your stage name? No. My name's Samuel Charles Buck or Sam Buck. Goes from classy to trashy real quick. I bet you're great at camp. <laughs> you should change it to witch. Maybe. Hmm. All right, Sam. Well, what, did we get, what, did we, what was your answer about the creepiest thing about you? What did you say? Because all this is... He said his reflection. <laughs> <laughs> what was your answer to that? Come on, just tell the truth. You know there's something fucking weird. I gain a lot of weight really quickly and then lose it and then go back and forth. So I'll How often does that happen? What's what weird about that? What do you mean? I'll <laughs> I should have been. <laughs> what do you mean a lot of weight? What's the most you've ever gained? Uh, I was up to 255 and now I'm down to 220 right now. Ooh, wow, you what? rebel. Ugh. Jesus. All right. How do you lose it when you do? You just come inside of it and then leave it? <laughs> All right, well, there you go, Sam Buck, everybody. Sam Buck, he's on Twitter at Sam C. Buck. He writes a new 10 seconds every month. Averaging 10 seconds per month, that's a new 60 seconds every six months. <laughs> that was all so funny, we, we like almost forgot how terrible his 60 seconds was. <laughs> That's how he does the 60 it. 60 seconds was a setup for the rest. He just leaves us, he just leaves us like that with his cum dripping out of us. <laughs> I'm going to remember that guy. Today wasn't the last time we hear about Dick Buck. Richard Buck. Dick Buck to the students. Back to the buck it we go. I pulled another name out. Put your hands together for Mike DeVore. Here he comes. 
the far side. There's a human being approaching the stage, and it's Mike DeVore. Mike DeVore, everybody, come on. What's up? Uh, some guy came up to me. He's like, what kind of Asian are you? What kind of Asian are you? I was like, whatever the college scholarship wants me to be. So he's like, Filipino? I'm like, yep. Cool. Uh, I'm in college right now. Uh, my favorite class that I took this semester was Chicano Studies. It's a super easy class. Because regardless of what the question is, the answer is always racial injustice. <laughs> yeah, the professor, he's like, Mike DeVore, I'm like, yeah, I didn't even hear the question. I was like, yeah, I think it's unfair how Mexicans get treated in this country. We need to stand up and fight for the rights. Viva la Mexico! Then I kicked the ball in the soccer net. And then the professor's like, dude, I'm just taking attendance. This did not go as I planned. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> it was like 10 seconds. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Mike DeVore. Hey. Somehow, Mike, you managed to do worse than the guy whose first <laughs> time it was, and also the guy that uh, does it twice a year for 60 seconds at a pop. Um, is this your first time doing it? Uh, no, it's not. How long have you been doing it for? Uh, March will be four years. Wow, four years. It's yeah. time to quit. Yeah. No, no, no. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. No, I'm just kidding, Mike. All right. I, I, like your, I like your passion. I thought you were very passionate. There you go. A compliment on your passion from Thank Kirk Fox. Let me ask you a question. What kind of Asian are you? Filipino. Are you really Filipino? Yes. Yes. And is that Asian? Uh, yes. Okay. That's it? it? You're 100% Filipino? Half Filipino, half white. Half white? Yeah. Huh. Mm. Your mom's Filipino? Yes, she is. Dad's white? Yes. How'd they meet? Mm. Uh, in Germany. What? My... Yeah. My, <laughs> my, uh, my dad was in the army. Uh, my mom was uh, there like, doing a nursing program, and then that's how they met. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, what's up? Hey, you're a Filipino, P-I-N-O-T. Like the wine. Ah. <laughs> Pu push it real good. All right, Mike. You do have that probably made you feel better about it yourself. Did. It really. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You do have an interesting look to you, though. You seem like a young sumo wrestler. Or something <laughs> like that. You, you look like you, you look like you snuck out of the igloo as a teen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm just this, I guess. Yeah. Why do you think you look like the way you do? Uh, you, you ever like put, <laughs> you ever like put your head in the microwave as a kid or anything <laughs> like that? No, I never did that. Just uh, just eat a lot. Yeah. Yeah. What do you do for work? Uh, I'm actually a student. I live off the GI Bill. Off the GI Bill. Yes. Oh, you're a, you were in the service for seven years. Oh wow, there yeah. you go, a fucking hero. How which which you? GI Filipino? What what, what, what <laughs> army? Filipino army? Uh, uh, America. Upper. Okay, just checking. Just, just. How old are you? I, I'm 30. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Can I just say this? Actually, uh, Wee Man's here. Is he still here? Oh my God. Like no no no. Like, uh, a few years ago, like he actually uh, visited our ship. So I want to thank you for doing that. That was pretty awesome oh, for. Yeah. There you um, go. Wow. That's it. There you go. We man visited the ship. He just. Where have you been, Stevo? <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> to his credit, We Man didn't mean to. He just went in the ocean with his floaties on, and the uh, the current took him out there. <laughs> it was just a rowboat. <laughs> uh, Look at this ship. What uh, what branch of the uh, what branch of the ugly tree did you get hit by? <laughs> no, what branch of the military? Navy. Were you I was in? in the navy. What? I was in the navy. Ah, yeah. wow. What'd you do there? I was intel specialist. Really? Yeah. An intel specialist. Yeah. Just built powerpoints. What does that mean? We just literally built powerpoint presentations all the time. Wow. Oh. Yeah. So we. <laughs> Would you have rather built guns or something fun? No, no, it was. It was fucking easy. Like everyone else, like had. Well, I don't want any trouble. No, with no, no, a soldier. No. <laughs> He's fucking Navy man. It, it was man. a fucking dope job. Like, Navy is very defensive. <laughs> is your mom super Filipino? Uh, yeah, she is. Can you do a little impression of her right now? Um, Mike. That's it right there. Black as fuck, you know. Everything you want, son. All right, do an impression of your mom. Okay. 
Michael, you never call me anymore. Wow, Wait, is, is that true? Do you not call your mom that No, often? I don't. All right, call her right now. Put it on okay. speakerphone. Dude. Jeremiah, help him out. There we go. We're going to talk to your Filipino While we mom. wait for that. Tell her you're in the cash cab. <laughs> What if it's Buck's girlfriend? What's her, <laughs> what's her name? Esther. Esther. Yes. She has a new show on Free Four. She doesn't pick up. How's her health? I want you to leave a voice. It's there. okay. I'll call her later. <laughs> Please leave your message for. Me. Hello. I thought this would have a happy ending. Hello, it's, it's me, Esther, your mom. What you call for, son? She can work voicemail. That's this, not bad. This night's not going well for you. No, it's, it's not, not, no. You That's know, awesome. when you set up your first joke, you had everybody's attention. Like, oh, man, you did this great impression of a guy asking me what kind of Asian you are. And it was like, oh, man, this is going to be great. Well... Yeah. What was this, whatever the college wants me? Uh, it, was, it was just uh, whatever the college scholarship wants me to be. Because I've been asked about my ethnicity before, and I'm just like, I, I didn't really want to tell people, so I was like, yeah, it's whatever the college scholarship wants me to be. It's such a great opportunity there for like a really good bit, man. You know? Oh, thank you. What do you do for fun? Uh, I, watch, uh, I watch a lot of Twitch on, uh, on the internet. Watch a lot of people play video games. That's what you do? Yeah, for fun, for fun. Yeah, it is. What else do you do for fun? Uh, I spend time with my wife. Oh, yeah? How long yeah. have you been married? I've uh, been eight years together oh. for 13. Wow. Watch yeah. a lot of Twitch. Is that some weird cam girl shit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's just uh, people play video games online. I know Red Band oh. uh, plays too, so. <laughs> uh, what's your wife? White? Uh, no, she's Mexican. Ooh. Yeah. Does she speak Spanish? She does speak Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she does. Now, did you meet her on the ship? No, we, we met in high school. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, what does she do? She's in the Navy. <laughs> She's in the Navy, yeah. too. Yeah, she, uh, she joined the Navy the year I got out. Wow. She, yeah. What is she doing? Does the, the Navy, Navy get any Americans in there? <laughs> <laughs> I guess she, they all go to the Army they, or yeah. Marines. She's actually an intel specialist, too. Really? Yeah, yeah. Man. So... So whenever you tell your kids stories someday of serving, you're going to be like, you didn't know what it was like. We built PowerPoints for a living. <laughs> One time Flash didn't load. Things got crazy. <laughs> <That's pretty funny. laughs> What's the weirdest thing about you, Mike? Uh, I'm just like, I, I like to be to myself. Just in the corner, like if there's like. A Why group? did you do like Asian power? Hand, like, <laughs> when you did, I, like, no, it's just like uh, usually when, it, when there was like a group of people. Is that okay, go ahead. I don't know, it's just uh, I just uh, I just keep to myself. Like I'm not very outgoing type of thing. How'd that work out for you on the ship? It was okay. You find a corner. Yeah, I just just hid in the in the peeway. So nice. In the peeway passageway. Oh. Yeah. Peeway. <laughs> 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 How come you're not wearing a ring? I'm not going to lie. I fucking got fat, and the ring doesn't fit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this is a special 2018 fat shaming episode. Wow. This is a wild episode. How did you know when it was time to take the ring off? Like, huh? It was like starting just, to get... Did you just have it off? It's starting and to hurt. It, it was starting to hurt. It was starting to get really uncomfortable. I was like noticing it. I was like, why is it fucking coming off circulation? And like... They said the ring or the finger. Which one is going to come off? <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I just took the... Took is she okay with that? She's okay with that, yeah. She's fine with it. But she also wants me to lose weight, too, so... <laughs> you threw it into Sauron's fire? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mike, so how quickly did, did uh, you gain this weight? It happened while I was in the Navy. <laughs> so, yeah, I gained... Uh, well, you know, like... Wait a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you said you meant... Your wife went into the Navy after you got out. Yeah. Yeah. She she always wanted to join the Navy. Well, when we were stationed up in Washington, uh, she wanted to join, but I was always deployed. So, like, uh, 
it didn't work out. So when I was when I told her I was going to get out of the Navy, she's like, oh, I want to join. I was like, all right, cool. So that was after you got married? <laughs> no, this is uh, while we were married. She just said, how could I I'm, be you know away what? from you for four years? I'm so confused right now. I feel now. like the, no, their right. marriage is going about as well as his stand <laughs> <laughs> This is all very, the timeline's very confusing. Can you make a PowerPoint and come back to the <laughs> I, guess. I like the fact that even your mom doesn't want to talk to you. <laughs> I feel like Steve-O is the weirdest detective I've ever seen. He's like, wait a second. <laughs> Hold on. She went in the Navy after you? <laughs> Jeremiah Watkins. What? <laughs> Steve-O, you seem like confused. Uh, <laughs> I'm not Colombo or anything. <laughs> <laughs> but something doesn't add up here. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Mike, anything else you want to say before you leave? Oh, no, thanks for having me up here. I had, I had fun. There he goes, Mike DeVore, goddamn American hero. He fought for our country, making PowerPoints. Goddamn American hero. Who knows how many lives those PowerPoints saved. Right. The only thing that ever died on the battlefield was his computer battery a few times. The PowerPoint guy. Where the fuck's the... Has anybody seen the PowerPoint guy? Fuck! We need a PowerPoint. Where's Mike DeVore? God damn it! Alright. Gets up at five and just starts doing PowerPoint. Oh. Fuck. Other guys are doing push-ups. He's just fucking sweating, eating greasy puffs. <laughs> Alright. Um, we have a regular on the show. She writes and performs a brand new 60 seconds every single week. We're all, everybody that's seen her is pretty much convinced that she's the goddamn future of comedy. Uh, one of our favorites in the world. Put your hands together for the great and powerful Allie Makovsky. <laughs> Oh, shit. Come on, make some fucking noise, audience. It's Allie Mikoski. Hi. I, uh, <laughs> I hate the new year because it's always people who, like, believe in crystals who want to tell you how they're going to change. I believe more in people who do crystal than people who have crystals. People who have crystals, they're like, I love jewelry, but I really want it to mean something. My jewelry guides me. Uh, I don't like it. I don't know. And it's always people who have crystals who are the biggest bitches. It's like, what is your crystal telling you to do? Like, just be a cunt? Uh, <laughs> do you have a clip piercing crystal? How does this work? I don't know. The one thing that I do want to be over in 2018 is chain messages. My dad sent me a chain message. It was like, send this to 20 of your friends or have bad luck for the rest of your life. I was like, my dad doesn't even have 20 friends. And he doesn't have that much longer to live. Is he really worried about being cursed? Okay, thanks. Allie Mikofsky with a brand new 70 seconds. Hi, Allie. Hi. How was your new year? It was nice. It's fun. Yeah. What'd yeah, you do? It was nice. Uh, I went to a house party and um, just kind of uh, hung there, watched the fireworks, and then my boyfriend told me he loved me. Whoa. <laughs> I know. Oh, now how did you respond to that? I was like, <laughs> happy new year. <laughs> Is that really what you said? No, well, he said it. He said, I love you. And then he kissed me right after. So I didn't even have time to say it. I was just processing it the whole time. Yeah. Did, yep. his, did his crystal make him say that? <laughs> How long have you guys been dating? Um, two months. Wow. And he loves you. Yeah, he does. Do you love him? I think so. Do I don't know what love is. Have you told him yet? Um, yeah, I said it. Let me ask oh, you this. Did? When you yeah. said it, did you do a thing where you're like, 
Were you like, did you mean what you said earlier? No. Like, did you re-brought it up? No. I knew he meant it. Because if he kissed you afterwards, then when did you say it? How much later after did you say it? Um, after his mouth was off of my mouth. You were like, ah. Duh. Said I love you too. <laughs> you like, yeah, said I love you too. Yeah. I love you too. Like that? How'd you say it? I don't remember. Oh, come on. Yes, you do. I love you too. <laughs> and so, th and so, th so that was last now, night? Now last night? Now can you show us how you would train a second grader to uh, shoot a bow and arrow? <laughs> Is he here in the audience right no, now? No, he's not here. Oh. But that was last night that, that, was last night, that yeah. you expressed yourself. So yeah. you've did, been in love for eight hours, eight, <laughs> 12 hours. Yeah, thank you. Good did for you. Was it a midnight thing when the ball dropped? No. No? no it before? No, it was after. It was oh, in his car. He was drunk. Really? No, does, he Does was, he drive a 2004 sober. Jaguar? He, no, he drives a Ford. He's an all-American boy. Uh, yeah. This has yeah. got to be a great bit in that, you know. Like, uh, maybe. If we break up, it could be funny. It might be worth it. It might be. I'm in it for the bits. <laughs> what do you think you love most about him? Um, he's really nice. All right, that's the most boring answer possible. I don't know. What's your like favorite thing about him that's different than other guys that you've been with? I haven't been with really any other guys seriously, so I have no reference. Wow. Don't you normally talk about having sex with a lot of guys? Um, yeah. I've tried to stay away from that, but um, that is a lot of my life experience being that I'm young and don't have much life experience. Right. I wanted to hear more uh, crystal meth jokes. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it was like, you were like, oh, cool, you know, when it was like the crystals, and then I trust people who do crystal. That was yeah. such great. And then it was all about the crystals, and I wanted more drugs. Yeah. Don't we all? I have a crystal all? meth joke. <laughs> Can I tell my crystal yeah, meth joke? Yeah, please, yes. please. Uh, one of the benefits of crystal meth is getting further in Pac-Man than you ever thought was humanly possible. There you go. Mine is every date is a. Oh, good Jesus timing. Christ. Good timing. That's all right. It's yeah. done now. What's yours, Kirk? I was just. Every date is a speed date when you're on meth. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Uh, have you done Crystal? No, I haven't. Oh, you haven't? No, no. You should. You'll love a lot more guys. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else happen uh, interesting since you've been on the show? Uh, we weren't here for Christmas Day. Anything, um, anything crazy yeah, Lil Uzi Vert was by my work today. What? Lil Ooh. Uzi Vert. He's oh, a yeah. rapper. Yeah, 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 yeah. How was that? It was great. He pulled up. Uh, there were two Maybachs that pulled up outside of my work, and then Maybach he Maybach music. Yeah. Yeah. And then he just popped out shirtless, and I was like, "This is the best." That was the highlight of my uh, two weeks gone. Huh. Will Uzi Vert. Yeah. And it was crazy because last time that I was on here, I was talking about Lil Uzi Vert, and then I manifested it. It could be the crystals. There you go. All right, Allie. Well, there you go. Another brand new minute from your regular Allie McCoskey. Bye. There she goes. Good job, Allie. I have a question. Before we go back to the bucket, I have a question for this audience. Do you guys like special treats? It sounds like they might like a special treat. How about we do something special? Um, you know, uh, you know, uh, we're going to bring somebody up here to perform stand-up comedy for the first time in his history ever at the Comedy Store. You know him from Jackass and so many other great things. It's Weeman! <laughs> All right. So uh, I was in yoga last week. <laughs> and <laughs> no, I take yoga. I really do. I've broken so many bones, I have to take yoga. Um, and I was laying there and I'm getting all like ready and zen and this wind just comes across me like <laughs> and I'm like, oh fuck dude, who in here reeks? And I look over and this hippie lady with like jewels and stuff on just throws her mat down right like right next to me and I'm just smelling everything and I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna fucking die. I can't, uh, there's no way I can be in yoga right now. 
and just breathe this the whole time. I'm like, I'm going to die. But I'm like, fuck, I just have to do it. Just be zen, cool. So I go through the whole class. I'm like, fuck, I hate that lady. I'm fucking pissed. My worst day ever. No joke. Next day, same time. I'm in the class. And I'm like, oh, it's Pat. She ain't coming today. Boom. And I'm like, fuck, there's a hot chick next to me. It probably went over and she thinks it's me. And I'm like, no, this is not, I'm saying something. So we're all good and all, and we get down into like doggy position. It's called like, it's called um, cat cow. No, it's cat cow. And I'm like, uh, lady, and I just want to be nice. I'm like, next time you come to class, wash your fucking mat and your towel. And she's like, what? And I'm like, wash your mat and wash your towel. She gets up, pulls her mat, and storms out of class in the middle, like, where everybody's like, what, what, what's going on? And I'm like, oh my God, that's the best. I'm, I love this class. Yoga's good. Everybody's looking at me. I'm like, so at the end of the class, I look at the lady and I go, you smelt her, right? And she goes, yeah, I smelt some, but I didn't know what it was. And I'm like, it was her. It was her. She goes, yeah, I smelt. It didn't smell when she left. And I'm like, thank you. I was an asshole, but I was also a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. I love that. Dude, you see, I nailed the height on that. <laughs> yeah, you did. That's what you know that's, you're broke. That's what you really want points for? Oh, let me just put it all the way down, and I got <laughs> Wee Man. <laughs> When you do that wasn't yoga, hard. With your size, when you do yoga, you can actually downward face an actual dog. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Why wow. do you think I take yoga? Yeah. It's like two other dudes in the class and me. You know, it's the best. Huh. I'm telling you guys, two and take and a half yoga. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it so is. So this was interesting. You got mad at this lady. We got to see a little bit of your short temper. Yes. Um, <laughs> how bad, like what kind of smell was it? Like a hippie, like patchouli? It smell? was, no, no, it wasn't even patchouli or nothing. It was like B.O. that oh. had never been washed. Oh. That's just oh. like stuck on the lady like for days. And I'm like, no, no, this is like, I, I'm around like these guys all day and whatever. Yeah. And skaters all day. Yeah, and we that, smell it, good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's dudes. Yeah. I'm surprised and you left. I'm surprised you just got out of it. <laughs> I was dying. I was like, oh, fuck. I'm going to hear about it from the teacher. What would you do? <laughs> and it was all cool. Everybody's like, oh, yeah, great class. Good to have you. Know? And I'm like, yes. Why didn't you just move your mat to another part of the room? There was no other part of the room. It, the room is like as big as this stage. And everybody's pretty much side by side. And she was right on top of me. Wow. And I'm like, I'm fucked. I'm seriously fucked. What do you use as like a yoga mat, like a DVD cover or something yeah. like that? <laughs> a paper towel? No, no, it's a it's a I chamois. Use, I, right? use a, I don't a use a towel. Wow. I use a sock. Chamois. <laughs> oh shit, that's so awesome. Downward man. puppy. What made you uh? <laughs> Is it hot yoga? Yeah, hot yoga. So you Sorry. shrink a little bit during it. Everything <laughs> contracts in the. Of course. I love it, man. What did made you, did uh, you feel better after? Yeah. You feel good all the time. It's like very relieving. You've been doing yoga for a long time now. Four huh? years now. Four years? And when's the last time you had a drink? Uh, four years ago. Yeah, dude. Yep. <laughs> I love Looking it. good, too, man. Yeah. Thank you. You look good, too. Thank you, bro. Yeah. wish we could say the same about Jeremiah. <laughs> <laughs> he shops now in the husky section. <laughs> that was the greatest part of the show to me for some reason. He shops at the husky section. <laughs> Fucking amazing. I'm still over in juniors. <laughs> oh, look at that gut bounce back. I know. Looks <laughs> <laughs> good. Jeremiah looks good. He's a beefcake. That, that feels like pig skin. <laughs> it, it is. That is pig skin. Uh, we man, what else has been happening in the world? We're so happy uh, that you're on the show. This is fun. Is this I something you want to continue to do for realsies? 
I don't know. I just thought I'd try. Yeah. It. For do you want to continue this for realsies? <laughs> <laughs> like you want to like go steady like, with like, us? Do you see like a future in this or what? <laughs> Fuck yeah. I don't know. I don't. Fuck I don't. It. I just told the story. That's all I did. So. Yeah. This is just you should story. do it more, man. That'd be great if you got to do start doing this. Maybe. Mm. I mean, we're here every Monday. Where do you see Re yourself in five years? <laughs> <laughs> oh, in five. Oh, in five years, I already have a five-year plan. You do? Yeah, I'm moving somewhere where there's a lot of acreage, building my own park. The land of Oz. <laughs> 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 no, I'm going to the chocolate factory. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. Represent the Lollipop Guild. <laughs> what, you you well, we love you every single week, and anytime you ever want to test something out or run it for yeah. our audience, you have an open invite forever. What it's a nice for we man, ladies and gentlemen. Life's crazy. How about one more time for Wee Man, everyone? Come on. Back to the bucket we go. What do you guys think? Back to the bucket one more time, huh? You guys have it in you, Monday night? How about you? You ready for this? Just a head nod, yeah. Sorry, go fuck yourself, lady. <laughs> Fucking assholes. You can always tell the podcast fans to bring their girlfriends sometimes. <laughs> Let's go to work in the morning. You know, we man fucking kicked ass. Yeah, he did. Great. That's, That's great story. hard to do. Yeah, I was just thinking to myself, because for all the stuff we've been through over the years, there's just so many stories that are just utterly, like, phenomenal. And, and, unbelievable. and he came up here and told this great story about yoga class. Yeah. And he fucking did it with confidence, and he did it great, and, like, Fucking love Wee Man. I mean, I just love her. So do I. Job. Wee Man, ladies and gentlemen. Jason Acuna. I am Wee Man on Instagram. I, I like to call him Jason. Yeah. Yeah. I do. His name's Jason. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to call him Jason, too. Yeah. <laughs> I like Jason. Yeah. You know how Jason speaks German? Is that true? A hundred percent fucking fluent German. Those is is that true? That's a s Whoa. Yeah. God. Oh, wow. shit. Yeah. We met oh, Mexican? Shit. Jason's Mexican? Yeah, but he doesn't speak Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> he speaks German. <laughs> oh, he doesn't speak Spanish. Wow. Speaks German, though. That's fucking scary. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what? I pulled a name out of the bucket. Uh, put your hands together for Dakota Freeman. There's a human being running towards the stage. I like to think it's Dakota Freeman. He's running through the audience instead of there the, he goes. the actual sidewalk. Dakota Freeman, ladies and gentlemen. Hey guys, uh, so I don't really get along with tough guys, uh, they've always intimidated me, like right off the bat when I meet a tough guy and they shake their hand, they always want to squeeze my hand really hard, it's like they're trying to prove that their hand can kick my hand's ass, no but uh, I have a lot of like masculine guys in my family, like I got these uncles, like I have an uncle, he's like super masculine, he's always trying to get the ladies, he's like a pervert and stuff. Like one time he asked me, hey Dakota, what cousin of ours do you think is the hottest? And I don't know how to answer that. Like what am I going to say? It's your daughter, bro. High five. <laughs> no, but uh, I have a lot of adult figures in my life uh, that were addicted to speed. Uh, I guess that's why I grew up so fast. Uh, another fun fact about me, guys, that uh, my mom, she didn't know she was pregnant with me for like half the pregnancy. So she was just drinking, smoking, doing drugs. There were strobe lights. On the bright side, my mom's uterus is the best party I've ever been to. <laughs> you guys are all invited. Dakota Freeman. I can say, I think we could all agree that's probably the set of the night right there, Dakota. You should be proud of yourself. Very good. Welcome to the show. 
Do you always look like you always stand out in the rain? Oh yeah, yeah, that's my life. I'm very, I'm a very nervous person. I'm nervous yeah. all the time. Do you look through people's windows a lot? Um, Why do you look know. like a young version of the shovel uh, slayer guy from Home Alone? Like a really young version of old man shovel slayer? You know what I mean? Like, ah, oh, he, he sweeps the driveways and we never know what he did with the bodies. Like, you're like in training for that or something. I'm, I want to know something. How many miles per gallon does the mystery machine get? Uh, <laughs> I'm just surprised that the government is doing testing on Steve when we have this guy. <laughs> you're a prime candidate, but I, I like you. You're funny and aggressive. Oh, thanks. Is that, is that sort of like a character that you're doing, or do you actually like that? No, this is me. I'm like, yeah. You gotta be freaking out all the time. So God's doing wow. that. Yeah, you yeah, gotta yeah. be. God's doing that character. It's like Twitch from yeah. South Park. Hey. It's like Scooby and Shaggy had a kid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you gotta be the only child molester who's still going through puberty. <laughs> I mean, it is pretty impressive. I've never seen anyone. How old are like How old are you? Grew up. Wow. Okay, oh. Kirk, uh, go right ahead. <laughs> go ahead. She's fucking. Okay, go, ahead, go ahead, buddy. In the dead oh. middle of it. No, I can't do it now. Well, uh, I'll go back to it in a second. Make it look like it was natural. Hold on. How old are you? Uh, twenty-three. Wow, you don't look a wow. day over forty-five. That's impressive. <laughs> Now, how, when you're dragging the bodies through the riverbed. Uh, <laughs> uh, do you fish a lot? You fish? Oh, no, I don't fish. You've never fished before. I, yeah, I really? should, though. Not even for compliments? <laughs> oh, no. He, yeah. he, he only catfishes. <laughs> You've been on a date? How's your love life? It, it's okay. I go on the, the Tinder and stuff. And you do? Oh, I go on the Tinder. It's Daphne. I go on the apps. And I, went on and I like that his uncle was a pervert because he liked girls. <laughs> I go on the Tinder, uh, the Facebook, the Twitter, the Instagram, all the applications that those young kids use. You're like a young Gordon's fisherman or something like that. Like, you belong like you, you seem like you belong like a like a liquor spokesman or something like that. Like uh, the world's least interesting man or something. Uh, yes, I committed the murder. <laughs> I feel like when you, you, you the only and reason... I would have got away with it, too, if it weren't for you men. <laughs> college? Did you go to college? Go to school? College? Uh, uh, no, I don't go to school. Boinks. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. I just do this, and I work at a movie theater. And, yeah, and my dad's very disappointed in both those things. What do you do at the uh, movie yeah, theater? What does your dad do? Uh, he cleans houses. Uh, oh, wow. You know, all the, he should be very disappointed in you. He's doing a woman's job. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Red Band. <laughs> Red Band? Wow. Somebody's so, not interested in working for any big corporations. <laughs> Dude, is there but, really a lot of people doing speed in your family? Oh, yeah, all of them. Well, not all, all of them, all but most of them, them, yeah. Most of them. I have, like, yeah, I have a lot of family members. Have they ever you. shared with you? No, 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 but that, this is why I look like this, because of them, so. <laughs> Only when he was a baby. Yeah, yeah, when I was a baby, yeah. That's why you look like how you do? That's yeah. what you said? Well, my mom, like, yeah, I don't know. I, I think I look like uh, if a crack baby, like, grew up to be a person, like. What? <laughs> what part of Oregon like or Washington are you from? Where are you from? I, I'm from, I'm, well, I'm also from Long Beach, from LB, the LB. Oh. The LBC. LBC. <laughs> oh, Jeremiah yeah. knows about LB. <laughs> <laughs> What's your love life like, Dakota? I mean, you're on the apps, you're on the Tinder, but like, what's the last date you went on? Like, what was that like? I mean, uh, it, you know, like, how'd you get rid of the DNA? Uh, um, I was at a date last night. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Where'd you, where'd you meet that girl at? Uh, for Tinder. She oh, was yeah. an oak tree named Pearl. <laughs> 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 and where's she buried right now? <laughs> Angeles National yeah, Forest. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd, yeah. where'd, where'd you guys go on your date? Uh, we went to a parking lot in uh, Sunset Beach. How would you like to go to a parking lot tonight? Yeah. Uh, fuck yeah. yeah. And then we got some food. 
Yeah, you ate uh, parking lot garbage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What'd you guys eat? Uh, we went to uh, this place called Harbor House. Uh, got some chili cheese fries. Had them today. You know, oh, sometimes you want to just take a girl to a parking lot to see if she really likes you before you take her to a house that your dad's cleaning. And nothing better to uh, nothing better to feed a girl than chili cheese fries oh, before yeah. hopefully getting <laughs> lucky. Did she fart it up? No, no. No, she didn't. She didn't fart it up. You squeak one out. You drive. You have a car. I don't. I take public transportation. So you met her in a fucking parking lot after getting off no, a no, bus? No, no. No, she, you she just walked up yeah. with an umbrella for some no. reason, even no. though it wasn't raining? <laughs> ah. Sorry I'm late. It was, I made a mistake wearing this jacket. I knew you guys were just going to go nuts on me. Oh, 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 oh. So you think like, if, you, did, if you didn't wear that jacket, it would have been okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It would have just been smooth sailing <laughs> without your sailor jacket. Yeah, well, just ignore the fact that you also look like you live in a tornado. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he tries to get you to sign up for Greenpeace, yeah. doesn't he? I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I don't sign anybody up for Greenpeace. I'm sorry. I, I did that. I, I was Why would you sign them up? You did that too? I went door to door. It lasted like half a day. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. You've had some crazy gigs. I have. You lasted half a day? Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How oh. often do you do stand up? I uh, try to, like, ideally every, almost every night, or if every night, if I'm not working or have some family obligation or something. Is that your real fucking voice? Yeah. <laughs> And w time, what would yeah. a family obligation be for you? Uh, I guess just like uh, having some dinner and uh, get the whole family together in a parking lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I got everybody chili cheese fries. Uh, 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 thanks a lot, guys. Uh, How long you been on stand up? Uh, like five years. Huh? Five years. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's impressive. I think amazing. you're going to do just fine. <laughs> you live by yeah. yourself? Uh, no, I, I live with my folks. Uh, yeah. with Vilma, with Fred. Dad. Yeah, Vilma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. You live with your parents? Yeah, yeah, I do. I'm a real Wait, winner. <laughs> His roommates, Vilma, Fred, <laughs> Daphne. Is that Scooby another Doo. Flintstones joke? Uh, uh, Scooby Doo. Scooby -Doo. What? Oh, oh. You seem influenced by whatever you were watching before you came here. Exactly. Didn't the Flintstones have Wilma and Fred too? No. Oh, that's Wilma. No, Vilma. <laughs> Velma. Uh, Velma. No. Sorry. All right. I thought you went double Flintstones. Uh, did we find today. out where you work? <laughs> do you have a job right now? Uh, yeah, I do. I, I work at a movie, AMC oh. movie theater. And what do you do there? Uh, Shoots it up. It's just, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pick gum off seats. What did you say? You work at an AIDS movie theater? <laughs> no. What is it? The Magic Johnson Theater? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? 80s? Uh, no, a AMC. Like in the oh, AMC movie AMC. theater, yeah. Uh -huh. What do you do though? You just take tickets and show uh, people what. <laughs> he works for AMC, a molester of children. <laughs> it's a. Uh, like a mixture of both, like a, everything, like box office, concessions, maybe taking tickets and stuff. Do you know they have chicken whatever and waffles? Feels, whatever feels right. In whatever whatever feels right, yeah. <laughs> do you know they have chicken and waffles now at AMC theaters? Like, you could get oh. fucking full-on food now. They do have some. Uh, we had just chicken opened up a bar waffles. so you could get, like, a beer, vodka, or tequila or something. Aphrodite, did you know that they have chicken and waffles now? No, don't. <laughs> don't hide the cookie that you were sneaking out of your purse. I'm like, there you go, baby. You own it. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a titty cookie. For those of you listening to the podcast, Aphrodite just put a half of a chocolate chip cookie between her tits. <laughs> so, how many Tinder dates... She named dates? the cookie Tony. <laughs> right how many Tinder those? dates have you been on? Uh, Probably, like, four, I oh, think. Yeah? Three, did, yeah. Did you bone any of them? Uh, yeah. <laughs> some yeah. of them, yeah. <laughs> How about how this one in the parking lot? How'd this one go? <laughs> it, how far'd you get? We, we uh, yeah, we, we did it and stuff. Yeah? Yeah. In, yeah. in her yeah. car? Yeah. In the yeah. parking lot. In, in, yeah, well, yeah, like, by, there's, like, by the beach, so it wasn't, like, a Walmart parking lot or something like that. But, no, like, we know. Uh, it was a no, fucking you're, beach you're, parking uh, lot. Yeah. You already told us. I, it's I, we we know you are you are a romantic. Of course you go <laughs> to the goddamn beach. <laughs> Dude, did you do butt stuff? No. <laughs> Did you fuck her on a yoga mat? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> did, did you break her heart while, while your cum dripped out of her? <laughs> Was it awkward afterwards when you asked her for a ride home? Yeah. Yeah. It was? Well, it was. she knew she was going to take me home from the beginning. Did, yeah. did you ask her to pay for half the chili <laughs> cheese fries? No. No. <laughs> no. You didn't. You well, didn't. she, 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 I didn't ask, but she kind of like, she did pay for it. Like, I was fine to do it. And then she kind of like just placed her card and said, that's fine. So I don't know if I'm supposed to like. I think this guy's a genius. She paid him off. She paid for all of it. She was getting <laughs> fucked at the beach with no car. And just... Drop me off at my house. <laughs> You're doing something I, right, brother. I kind of wish my mom did meth <laughs> while she was pregnant with me. <laughs> you seem free. <laughs> I, uh, I wish I was that free. <laughs> I love it, man. It's a, it's a, you're an interesting character. I've always wondered what Beck was like when he was in <laughs> high school. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. What's the weirdest thing about you, Dakota? Oh, um, besides your name. Yeah. That's, yeah. Um, I, I like, uh, I think old ladies are kind of hot. Uh, uh, yeah. Wow. Like how old? Um, I, I, what's, uh, what, 45, uh, yeah. Wow, Jesus, Jesus. he's yeah. got a very specifically a bunch of 45-year-old like that, women that's how old she was. How old was that woman in the parking lot at the beach? Oh, she was... My, like one year older than me, 24. <laughs> Man, it's the 23 club tonight. We had so many 23 year olds. <laughs> Go How 20. old were you when you boned the 45 year old? Oh, this happened recently, like a few months ago. Yeah. Was Is your mom 45 did years old? Did you meet her on Tinder? No. I, yeah, I did. So you've got your age, little gauge set to 45 on I was, Tinder? Yeah, I was experimenting to see what would happen. And then I saw her and I was like, oh. I'll swipe right, and then it, we matched, and I was like, okay, well, I'll message her and see what happens then, and then she was like, hey, you want to meet up? And then we went to, like, uh, this, like... Parking lot! <laughs> parking lot, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait. In a parking lot! Is your, is, your, is your profile photo in your AMC uniform? No, no, no. So you show up in a lab coat, you're like, I'm just experimenting. Where'd you meet up with a 45-year-old? Uh, on, on Tinder. <laughs> What? Like, on Tinder, just swiping. And but but I mean, where did you meet her physically? Oh, uh, sorry. So you, uh, were, you were on your way to something before I interrupted with something hilarious. <laughs> I think we were up to four. You, you've met more than four women on Tinder, like, right? You yeah. haven't told us about every single one. No, no. But, like, I've only really met four in person. Like, everything else has just been all shit. Of them. Not all No, not all of them. Just like I want to hear more about the 45-year-old. Stick with me here. Okay. You okay. guys met up, and you guys messaged each other on Tinder. Where'd you meet up physically? Uh, it's just like a. Uh, so I guess in Gardena they have like this motel called the like the No Happy Place or something, and it's like a. If anybody knows about well, it, like she has hotels you can go uh, no, fuck people in that you meet at the movie theater. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's like a motel made for fucking. That's like the the gimmick uh, of hour, it, I guess. Hour uh -huh. wait, uh, so wait. Did, did yeah, she, motel. She told you to meet at some hotel that you didn't know about, and you get there, and what was different? <laughs> uh, it was just like kind of looked like uh, pillows were salty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keep going. Answer the question. It, it was like it, it was just kind of like a room. There was like just four blue walls, and like it kind of looked like uh, like a re kind of retro looking I guess there's a TV mounted on the wall that she said she's watched before like wow I, like I guess damn. she's done this is like a thing she did on the regular alright do you know what she did for a living uh, she was I think she uh, she was a teacher <laughs> cool oh, yeah she oh, is Jesus. teaching you the way to yeah. the promised land yeah. alright nice. Dakota million dollar question uh, okay. what was different hooking up with this 45 year old that's different that you notice is different than hooking up with a younger girl uh, I guess she just like it seemed like she really knew what she wanted. Yeah, what she was, was that? Just what was that? Her just, pussy. Yeah, she wanted to just she wanted to have sex, and she made it clear that she wanted to do that, and I was happy to oblige. Can you give us an example of like something? Can you give us an example of something that made you think that she just really, really, really wanted to have sex? What did she say or do or? Um. Mount she me just like the TV on the wall. <laughs> Uh, it was just the the messenger. She was just like right. being like you know sexting and stuff. I think meet me at the hotel would cover it. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> did she pay for the room? No, we we split it. Oh okay. Yeah. Did. You did. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Oh, I had to tear so many movie tickets for this. 
Uh, I guess uh, Venmo me the other half. Uh. <laughs> She's like, what's Venmo? So, did, you, did, did you see her again, or was it just the one and done? No, I, I did message her, and she didn't reply. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Did you, did you finish quickly with her? No, I thought it was a good amount of time. I thought, we, what's I good, thought it was good. good. It was 42 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> This woman knew exactly what she wanted, yeah. and he wasn't it. Yeah. <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> He's too old for her. Yeah. Where do you think it went wrong? Why do you think she didn't message you back? Tell the truth. Be honest. Show some humility here. She's, I don't, maybe she just didn't want to hook up with a, another 23-year-old again or something. But they, well, why do you, why do you, where do you think you went wrong that night sexually or day at that hotel? <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Aphrodite's taking shots over here. Yeah. Damn. I was um, gonna say he didn't bring Werther's. Yeah. Aphrodite. <laughs> Normally, I don't embrace or allow heckling of any kind. We love Aphrodite on this show. She's a superstar in our world. So I'm gonna follow up on Aphrodite's question for a second. Do you have a small penis? Aphrodite wants to know. Uh, it, no, it's just your average size penis. Three, three inches. It's not three inches. Four? It's probably more. It's more than four. I, I, I'd say like five or six, I would say, five? is the, the amount, maybe. I yeah, haven't really You think that's it. an average penis? Five is I average? I think so. Dude, what do your balls look like? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Dakota Freeman. It was nice to meet you. There he goes. Keep rocking, Amazing Dakota. set tonight. Yeah, good job, man. Incredible stuff. I have to pee so fucking bad that I'm about to cry right now. Look at the drawing from Ryan J. E. Bell with Steve O. and Kirk Fox. RyanJEbelt.com. That's fucking amazing. It gets better every single week. The Kill Tony, the book, is available at RyanJEbelt.com. Uh, get that now. That's on sale and shipping. Kill Tony Houston, February 1st. Kill Tony Dallas, February 2nd. Huge announcement regarding Salt Lake City, Utah coming next week. And uh, that's the episode of uh, tonight's show. Kirk Fox, anything uh, coming out that you want to plug or uh, talk about? No, I'm all right. Thank you. Follow Kirk on all social media. He's Kirk Fox. Steve-O, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. It's Kirk Fox, Steve-O. Steve-O, you have a ton of shit going on. You're always hustling and grinding. What's going on? Um, let's see here. I, got this. I did this crazy mountain climbing show. Uh, it's coming out on YouTube Red, uh, January 17th. I'm taping a new comedy special in Denver at the Gothic Theater on January 20th. Uh, this weekend I'll be in Cleveland at Hilarity's. I love that club, yep. Yeah, and um, next weekend, a week from this weekend, I'm at the Ice House in Pasadena. Love so I'll see you down there. Well. Can I add one thing? Yeah. Uh, I will be on Kill Tony when this uh, airs, right? Yeah. Okay. Plugging his Kill Tony appearance. Her box. How about we make some noise for 30 pounds heavier Jeremiah Watkins, huh? He's going to be the host of Kill Tony next week. How many of you guys are coming back next week? Sure you are. Fucking liars. Jeremiah, what else do you want to plug? Tune in to Kill Jeremiah next week at the Comedy <laughs> Store. Uh, I'm headlining down in San Diego on January 18th and bringing Jamar Neighbors and Willie Hunter from The Wave. Uh, so if you're in the San Diego area, check that out. Uh, I got some shirts up at jeremiahwatkins.tv slash shop. And follow me on social media, at Jeremiah Stand Up. Thank you, Stakem, for sponsoring me. There you go, the victor. You'll catch me in the band next week, sitting next to band leader Pat Reagan, everybody. Woo! Patty, anything you want to plug this week? No. Nah. Okay. Curl McCris on the ones and twos. Follow him on social media. How about you make some noise for Joel Berg? Joel Jimenez, everybody. He's on social media at Mostly Sorry, all one word. Uh, th this is one of the cr craziest years of my life. Thank you guys for caring and coming out, man. I love you guys. <laughs> there he goes. Joel Jimenez. Uh, I'm also performing in uh, Chicago the second weekend of January and Philadelphia the last weekend of January with a bunch of my crazy friends. So uh, that's all available at TonyHinchcliffe.com if you live in any of those cities. And uh, there it is. Houston, Dallas. We're coming for you. Yes. Josh Martin. That's him. 
right there. Two guys. Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you so much for coming out. Have a great night. See you next week.